Hello everyone, this is a traditional African batik print tutorial and here is what you will need for this video. Firstly, you will need wax together with a wax burner. Here's the wax and the wax burner. Secondly, you will need canting or batik pen which will be used to trace the pattern with the melted wax. Thirdly, any plain fabric will do. I'm using silk fabric. And to go with the fabric, I have these this embroidery hoop to stretch the fabric so it will be easier once tracing and painting. Pencil or chalk for the sketching of the pattern. For painting purposes, we will need fabric paint and paintbrushes, a water pot to clean the paintbrushes and also to mix my paint with. Kitchen towels, which we will use to prevent the melted wax from touching the surface while going through the fabric. An iron for melting the wax once it has dried at the end of our batik process. Now let's get to work. First step of this process is to um, melt the wax. So put your wax burner on. Turn the heat up and wait for your wax to melt. While our wax is on the side melting, we're going to trace our pattern and the pattern we're going to be tracing today is this pattern from one of a known African clothing staples called Kanga. So here's just a piece from it. Getting our fabric, we place, place our fabric to it. I'm going to just try and size it and see how much do I need the pattern we're going to be tracing and to trace it easily just flip it over the side and place it on top and then trace the desired pattern wax has melted Carefully with hot wax as it can be very dangerous. So before we start tracing our pan with the wax, I've got this piece of paper here and I'm going to place Canting pen. I'm going to bring the wax close. Now, let our wax and it's dried. Dries pretty fast. Take that to the side. Mm -hmm. 
taking my finer detailed brush I'm gonna dip in some water and I'm thinking of this part being cold so and now taking some gold to the side mixing it with some water and now I'm just going to check and add on don't worry about the gold getting on the wax, dried wax, because it will go away later. Um, I'm going to do this on all of them, just use this colour first. paint has dry it's time for the next process and for this process we will need an iron and some baking paper careful with the iron since it's hot plant there's a big got over and don't you hoop Then take the iron and iron it, letting the, the teak, the wax, fall onto the tissue below. 